in this nitty gritty basics let's play live stream we're going to be playing at i love Maj using the national mahjong league 2023 card if you're new to playing american mahjong this day's topic should be very helpful we're going to talk about how to pick a hand just the very basics and hopefully for anyone watching who is a little frustrated with how to get started with that initial dealt hand today i'm hoping will be very enlightening if you're still having trouble finding your footing with this game send me an email you can find it in the video description below there's also a link in there to what i call the skills and strategies matrix this is a schedule of all the recurring topics for the monday nitty-gritty double header we start from one and then go till three on the basics. And then we do prime time, which is advanced topics from four to six. And that's every Monday, unless I'm traveling. And we'll talk about that at the end of this session. Hopefully I'll remember. So I just wanna say thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for sharing about it with your friends. And also if you are a channel member, thank you so much for helping support Mosh Life. I want to give one quick shout out to our moderators today. Thank you so much for helping monitor the chat. This is a nitty gritty format, which is which means that we will limit socialization. We want to talk about the gameplay with commentary based on today's topic only. If you prefer hanging out in a more casual social environment, join us on Friday nights for the Simply Social Let's Play live stream, which begins at 6 p.m. Eastern time and goes till about 8. With that being said, I'm going to share my screen and we'll get started with a very short presentation and then we'll play Mahjong at I Love Maj. Hi, Marilyn. Welcome. Okay, so let me share my screen. Oh, no, I need to get the presentation going first. So bear with me for one second here. All right, how to pick a hand, here we go. Before we dig into hand level examples, I just briefly wanna talk about your style of play. There are a few ways that you can play the game in regards to your style or your, your, your plan of action, I guess you could say. And there is no rule, of course, it's all personal preference. And there is a good, better, best. And that's what I want to share here. Before we get to the next slide, though, I just want to say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Two people can look at the same dealt hand and see different ways to go with it. So there is choice. There is judgment call. Every hand is a judgment call. So try not to be critical of what other people do and just find your way, go with what looks good to you and forge ahead. We're going to compare or briefly talk about a fixed style of play and an adaptive style of play. With a fixed style of play, this is when you pick a hand right when you see your dealt hand. Very rarely will the tiles point to one particular hand but some people like to play one hand from the get-go and that's fine sometimes it works out but is it and it is good to do that but there are there's a better way and that is to play an adaptive style of play and this is where you look at the dealt hand and you identify the strength of the hand and then you pick a category that uses most of the tiles supporting the strength of the hand and then not pick it. You don't pick a hand until you run out of discards. You just gather. You focus on the strength of the hand, keep tiles that support the strength of the hand, and then you gather tiles when you run out of discards. That's when you start looking at the hand level. So when I do a lot of my videos, People might ask, 
or you might even see this in the video under the video description in the comments. What hand are you playing? Sometimes I don't know. I don't know what hand I'm playing because based on the tiles, I, I'm still gathering enough tiles to make that decision. You don't really need to pick a hand until you run out of discards or when you're in that pick and discard phase of the game, when someone discards a tile that you can potentially call. Those would be the times when you really do need to either pick a hand or limit down to maybe two hands. So we're hopefully going to be looking at some examples of that. The next thing that you could do, and this, this is helpful for anyone who feels a little overwhelmed with all the choices with the game, and that is that you do a kind of a hybrid approach where maybe you, you stay adaptive during the Charleston. You don't pick a hand. You just gather tiles for whatever category uses most of your tiles. And then at the end of the Charleston, that's when you pick a hand based on the strength of the hand. And then you stick with it and focus there. That tends to minimize overwhelm for some people. Any questions about good, better, best? It's basically fixed, adaptive, and then a hybrid. All right. If you have any questions, watch in the repost. Put it in the comment section below the video. You might ask, why does this even matter? It's because of game theory. The way the American Mahjong game is designed. When you look at the card, you will see that most of the hands have big multiples. That's what I call Pung Kong, and then there are three quints. So basically Pung and Kong. That makes up a majority of the hands on the card, 84%. There are hands with pairs too, some mixing with big multiples, but there are some hands with singles and even pairs. If you look at that single and pair category, those hands have all little multiples, pairs and singles, really pairs or singles. So when you're looking at your dealt hand, if you start with multiples, let that be your decision point. Let that be your waypoint. You see a multiple, focus there. Look at the rest of your tiles. Hold as many of them as you can to support it, and then choose a category that will use most of your tiles. With that decision making, it should simplify the process. And we'll do some examples of that. Focus on multiples. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. There are suits, though, to consider. And if you look at the card, you'll notice that there are many more hands in here in mixed suits, 69% compared to 27% in one suit. So while you're gathering tiles, try not to focus so much on the suit. Just keep all the tiles that would support your strength, whether it is a multiple or predominant pattern, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And then once you run out of discards during the Charleston, Decide then if you're going to go with one suit or mix suit based on the components that you've been able to gather. The other thing that you want to think about while you're trying to develop your hand, whatever it is going to end up being, you're just gathering tiles to support the strength of the hand. You want to think about passing defensively because your hand is the top priority to develop your own hand. That's priority one. Then you do the best you can with what you have left over. You want to try to mitigate the risk as much as possible because during the Charleston, the tiles that you pass could develop your opponent's hands. And that's why you want to mitigate the risk. Like numbers, in my opinion, is very risky to pass because 40% of the hands on the card use like numbers, not just the two in the any like number category. Like numbers are all over the card. 40% of the hands use like numbers. 
if you pass like numbers and those are the numbers that your opponent is keeping, or maybe their category is using those numbers. For example, if you pass like numbers with sixes and they're playing two, four, six, eight or three, six, nine, they're going to be very happy. Even if they're not playing a like number hand, they're going to be able to utilize those sixes. So think about mitigating the risk and pass like numbers as a rarity. Also, flowers are very risky to pass. 44% of the hands on the card use flowers. So try not to pass flowers. If I were to give super quick tips on how to pass defensively, these would be the two. Don't pass like numbers and don't pass a pair. Some people ask me about passing white dragons. And most years, I try not to. Even now in this, this year's card, I try not to, but I have found that I am passing like numbers a little more often than usual. And it may just be situational or it may just be the shapes and the tiles used on this year's card. So if you do pass a white dragon, try not to pass it with year tiles. That would be two, three. And also try not to pass it with the same suit which would be dots. Let's talk about getting started when you get that dealt hand. When you get the hand, after you get it arranged, look for multiples and then pick one or two categories that might use the multiples and keep as many tiles as you can to support them and then find three tiles to pass. So in this example, we have two, three, five, six in dots, pair three, pair five, and then a pair of one bands. And this incidentally is an actual hand. All these examples are hands that I did screenshots of and recreated as examples. So when I first looked at this particular dealt hand, I thought, okay, little odds. We could play little odds. Some kind of a one, three, five hand. It's not perfect. And I wouldn't even pick a hand in that category yet because these tiles don't quite gel based on this year's card. Now, if that three crack were a three bam, we could maybe play that second hand down on the left. And with this many multiples, if that were the case, I would pick a hand right away because it's clear. But with these tiles, you could also maybe play consecutive run two, three, four, five. That would use two of the three pair. And it would use most of the tiles. So let's see, we have eight tiles being used here. And we have three tiles we can pass safely. One bam, nine bam, and the north. Now, if we played little odds, two, four, six, it's seven tiles. Maybe you would keep the white dragon and let's say pass two dot nine bam north. Keep the white dragon in case you get a one dot and a flower. That's a big if. That's Those are two gaps. You always want to think about gaps. And I think we're going to talk about that in a little bit. So you could play little odds here and probably do well. You could also maybe play consecutive run. Just pick one or the other and gather tiles that support the strength that you are attempting to build on. Any questions so far? The goal is to optimize your potential and you want to play adaptive where you just gather and try not to pick a hand until you run out of discards. Right now we have, if we play consecutive run, we would have five discards. If we play little odds, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six discards. So probably a consecutive run hand, even though we're not using that one band pair, has more tiles. So you would maximize your potential to build a hand here. All right, let's talk about the next piece. If you don't have multiples, and this happens all the time, here's an example where we have no multiples. They're all singles across the board, all singles. You wanna look for the predominant pattern. And that basically is going to be where most of your tiles can be used in a category on the card. So for these tiles, we could maybe play consecutive run. 
we have three, four in BAMs, five, six in cracks, three, four, six in dots. Now with these particular tiles, we don't have to pick a hand yet. We're just gonna pick the category of consecutive run and gather until we run out of the discards, which we have two nines, a white dragon and a north. This might be where I might pass a white dragon, or maybe I would give up the six dot, let's say, because we have no five dot, maybe pass nine bam or crack with the six dot and a north and hold the white dragon because we could maybe play three, four dragon with the flower, or we could play three bam, five crack, four dot, three, four, five mixed suit Kongs, fifth hand down on the right under consecutive run. So there are a couple of hands in here with no gaps. Those are the kinds of, I guess you could kind of earmark those hands, but don't pick yet because you never know what you're going to get in those passes that could change your mind. You can do all this analysis and it'll all be in vain because your next pass could totally change your plans. Getting three tiles at one time can make a big difference in your direction. So here's the three, six, nine potential. We have one, two, so five, six tiles. Six tiles with three, six, nine. I suppose you could maybe even keep the white dragon because we could pass four bam, five crack north and maybe use the white dragon. There are a couple of hands in three, six, nine that use the opposite dragons. That would be three, six, nine, number four and the second hand from the bottom. That, that could, there could be potential there. So with three, six, nine, there are six keepers. With consecutive run, there are seven. So if these were my tiles, I would play consecutive run. And I wouldn't pick a hand. I would gather. You target the strength, and then you gather. And then when you run out of discards, you pick a hand, and you start, well, you continue to gather if you need to, but then you build. Because we need to build multiples. Right now, these are all singles. We need to build them up. And that's where the drawing comes in or jokers, if you can get them. When you get to the end of the Charleston and you're going to then slow down quite a bit because you're going to pick one tile at a time, the pick and discard phase. This is when you're going to stay at the category level for as long as possible. Try not to be looking at the hands until you run out of discards. We have a lot of discards in here. If this was the end of the Charleston, we would have a lot of drawing to do. Now, if you are between categories, like we could maybe play consecutive run here or maybe even 369. But if you look for th at 369, there's a gap. We have no threes, no threes. So I wouldn't play a 369. That might be tempting. It might also be tempting to play an even hand. Two, four, six, eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six tiles towards evens, but we have no eight. That's a gap. That's why you want to play probably here consecutive run again. And consecutive run, by the way, there's no shame in that game. No shame. It is easier because all those hands use a range of up to nine numbers up or down the range between two and five numbers. So you have a lot of flexibility. It is the most efficient category on the card. So you have a lot of flexibility with that particular type of hand. The bottom line when you're in the Charleston, just as a reminder, is to mitigate risk. Monitor the discards and exposures when you get to the pick and discard phase of the game and Try to discard what's going out in exposures or discards, and then also decide as the hand develops which tiles are useless and discard those. Don't claim a discard, though, until you know what hand you're playing and you have no gaps and few weaknesses. Weaknesses would be if you need a pung and you only have one, one tile that can be used and no jokers. That would be a weakness. Another weakness would be if you need a pair 
or let's say you need two pair and you have singles for both of those, that would be two weaknesses. Let's say you need a Kong and you have two for the Kong, no joker, that would be a weakness. Anything, any block that you cannot call on, other than of course you can't call for pairs, any block that you cannot call on yet because you have no jokers or you don't have the necessary tiles to call a discard for, those would be weaknesses. So you want to monitor the weaknesses. For gaps completely, I would discount any hand with a gap or even a category with a gap. Like here, I would not play 369 because we have no three. I would not play 2468 because we have no eight. So the best category for this one would be consecutive run. Even with odds, we have five, nine, but we have no seven. We have no one, we have no three. So the clear category here is consecutive run. We, yeah, even year for the year category, we have no three. So I wouldn't play the year. We are missing a two crack. So I wouldn't think about like numbers. So use that process of elimination as you try to figure out which category will use most of your tiles. Then when a multiple forms, reassess, target the multiple, gather tiles to support the multiple playing a category that uses most of your tiles, and then gather. Hopefully you'll also be building and then you'll win. That's the hope. We're going to play at I Love Maj and I'll hope for some really good examples of all these things that we just talked about. If you've not tried playing it, I Love Maj yet, please consider trying it. it. It is really good for beginners, especially because they have an exercise room and I'll, I'll show you that in a few minutes, but they have some really great tools that can help you build your skills. And their robots are also intelligent, three levels of intelligence. So you can start with an entry level bot to match your ability. And then as you gain confidence and skills, then you can increase the intelligence with the next level bot with the goal of playing with the most intelligent bots eventually. So I'm going to stop sharing. Does anybody have any questions about how to pick a hand? Bottom line, target multiples. If you don't have multiples, target the predominant pattern. During the Charleston, when a multiple forms, reassess. Reassess, target the multiple, gather, build. And when you run out of discards, pick a hand. Okay, now let me uh, share my screen. So here's I Love Maj. At the top, you have the game launch pad. This is where you can play with robots. When you click that, you'll see you can play just for fun, which does not record your games, or you can play the official game and pick your level of robot. Standard, intermediate, and advanced, or entry level, and then intermediate and advanced. Down here, you can schedule with friends, play online. You could even have a personal table and invite specific friends. So there's some nice features there. Here's the exercise room. This is where I think beginners can really benefit from the value that is offered here at I Love Maj. You can make hands where you, you just go category by category and you build a hand based on all the tiles. So if you're at that very early point in time in your journey, try that skill uh, building tool there. For Charleston practice, this is where we're going to go in and just do one or two random pulls or Charleston modeling exercises just to kind of get, you know, a little bit of calisthenics done and exercise our skills. And then we'll play with robots. Uh, Lori is asking, I'll put this up here. For the third from the bottom under odds, do the, con wait, uh, odds third from the bottom, do the two numbers have to be the same? Okay, you're talking about consecutive run, not odds, right? The second hand from the bottom, the two pair 
any consecutive numbers? Are you talking about the um, consecutive run? Okay, good. So the second hand from the bottom, you need two pair, two consecutive pairs in one suit. So you could, the card says one, two, but you could use any, you could start with any number. So as long as the hand ends at nine, so you wouldn't be able to do eight, nine, because then you need pungs of the next number in the sequence. So you can't do eight, nine. You could do seven, eight, and then nine, nine. The seven, eight would have to be the same suit. For example, dots. Then your pungs of nines would be cracks and bams, as an example. All right. Um, there are a couple other other games that are are here. Actually, there's a game Maj, Majol, I guess. That's just a game for fun. And then what hand is that? That is a good way to test your skills at identifying the shapes and patterns on the card. So try that exercise too. We're going to go into Charleston practice and we're going to do at least one, if not two. So you just click exercise and then you're going to, you hopefully this, I, I wish these went all, I wish we could turn these tips off. There we go. All right. Now you can sort by rank or sort by suit. I recommend sorting by suit so you can get the lay of the land. So, oh, thank you, Judy. Yeah, gaps. We're going to be, hopefully we'll have some examples where we talk about gap hands. Okay. So here we have a joker, two, three, eight, nine, and bams, pair three. Oh, here, let me go. Let me go full, full screen here. Let's see here. Let's do this one here. Okay. Oops. I got to reshare my screen. I don't, I wish it wouldn't do that. Oh, here, let me stop that comment there. Uh, share. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Sorry, you couldn't see my screen. <laughs> um, all right. So we have a joker, two, three, eight, nine in bams, pair three. We have three, four, nine in cracks, pair four. One, two, seven in dots, pair two. So if these were your tiles, what category would you focus on? We have three multiples. Okay, there's, there's a wasp in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, the wasp kind of comes through our, um, our chimney. Anyway, uh, okay, we have multiples here. What would you guys play? What category would you focus on with these tiles? Anybody want to comment what category they would play here? Consecutive run. Yep, hi, Wes. Yep, consecutive run. We have consecutive pairs, two, three, four. So I would keep every... One, two, three, four. Usually if I'm playing in consecutive run, I hold four to five numbers in a range. So we're going to use this joker to separate the tiles and we're going to move the big numbers to the right and the little numbers to the left. All right. So we have one, two, three, four of some kind. And I would not pick a hand. We're not going to pick a hand. We're going to gather. And hopefully we'll be able to use all three of these pairs. We'll see. We have three tiles we can pass. Seven dot, eight bam, nine crack. Okay. Why is it not? Oh, you got to double click. Okay. So we have seven, eight, nine to pass. This is a little bit risky, but that's okay. It's okay if you have a risky pass because you want to optimize your potential with your own hand as priority one. Then you do the best you can with what you have left over. What we have left over is like numbers with nines and a seven and an eight. I would want to keep probably, I think I would keep all these tiles. Now, we might be able to mitigate that risk a little bit. Let me see, maybe two dot, three bam, four crack, 
two, three, well, yep, yeah, but here's the thing though about that hand, Sue. See, I wouldn't think about playing that hand because we have no flowers. If we play two, three, four, mix, uh, mix suit Kongs, fifth hand down on the right, we have no flowers. That is a pair gap. That would be very risky. Instead, I would focus on, if I had to pick a hand, I would play one, two, dot, three, four, crack. Second hand down on the right because there's no gaps. Yet, you don't try not to play a gap hand, especially a pair gap, and especially flowers because they're a hot commodity. You may, you may never see them. And I know for me, for some reason, I can't pick them or I have a hard time usually. Okay, so we're not going to pick a hand though. We're going to pass. Now, we could maybe mitigate this risk a little bit. Keep the eight bam. Or maybe what we could do, because if we did this, let's say, 7.9 crack with a 2 bam, that 2 bam really is not useful unless we had a 3 dot where we could play 2, 3, 2, 3, and we would let the 4 crack go. So this 2 bam is probably not going to be very useful. But if you look down here, we have an eight, nine. That's going to be really risky if we pass eight, nine in one suit, if we get all keepers. So probably what I would do is keep the seven. Oops, I wouldn't pass like numbers. Maybe pass two, eight with a nine. And that way we're left with seven, nine in two suits. So I think I would probably do that. There's still some risk here. Uh, let's see here. What we could maybe do is pass 2BAM, 7.9BAM, and be left with an 8BAM with a 9 crack. That might even be, that would be better, I think, because passing 2 8 in one suit is risky because if someone's playing evens in one suit, you would feed right into their hand potentially you'd have a 30% chance of giving them what they want if they're playing evens. Well, if they're playing evens in one suit, because there's three suits. All right. So let's pass these three. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now we have eight, nine in BAMs, nine crack, nine dot. Here's a two crack. We have two, three, four in cracks, one, two in dots, and a three BAM. We're left with like numbers with eights. We could pass an eight and then maybe one of the nines, but we have to let something go. If these were my tiles, I would probably pass the two crack because we do have a hand in here. One, two, dot, three, four, crack, no gaps. So that's probably what I would let go of, the two crack. Okay, now here we got... 6.9 crack 5 bam. We have 1, 2 in dots, 3, 5 in bams, 3, 4 in cracks. Really, I don't think this is going to be helpful. And we still have all these nines. I would pass the five and try to do one of each suit like that and still focus on 1, 2, 3, 4 of some kind. We got sixes and an eight. We do have a little bit of two, four, six, eight, but the tiles are not quite gelling. What we could do, I would definitely keep going. Second Charleston. We could pass nine bam, six crack, let's say eight dot. I still think one, two, three, four is the best way to go here. We finally got a keeper, a one dot. Patience does pay off. So we have one, two, dot, three, four, crack. Three pair, three multiples in there. This would be the second hand down under consecutive run. And we have tiles we can pass. I wouldn't be tempted by the red dragon because we would have to throw away a one, two pair, pair uh, consecutive pairs in dots if we used the red dragon with a three, four. It's pretty, but we have no flowers. So we can't play that third hand down under consecutive run. Even though it looks pretty, it's not helpful. 
at all. Okay, four man. Let's tuck it in because that is in our range of four numbers. We have two tiles that we can pass for sure. I would not pass like numbers. I would either pass blind or let something go. Since we have a hand in here with three multiples, one, two, dot, three, four, crack, second hand down on the right under consecutive run, I would let the four bam go and pass fully. Courtesy pass. All right. And then I would sort my tiles and just reassess and look at where my multiples are and focus on the category that uses most of my tiles. In this case, it's one through five of some kind. We have one through five of some kind with one discard. Lots of tiles in here that we could potentially use. And I wouldn't pick a hand yet. I think the strongest potential, if I had to pick a hand, would be the second hand down on the right under consecutive run. One, two, dot, three, four, crack. So the one crack would go, the four, five, and dots would go, and then we would just see how the hand develops from there. All right, should we do one more uh, Charleston modeling, and then we could play with robots, or do you guys want to go straight to robots? Put a one if you want to do one more Charleston. If you'd rather go straight to the robots, put a two in there. One or two. Uh, Lori says do another Charleston. Okay. One, one. Okay, we'll do an, another another one for the Charleston. Oh, uh, oh, we still get we still get a pass. I'm sorry, I forgot the optional. Let's pass 195. We didn't get any keepers. Okay, so let's go again with new First tiles. Charleston. Okay, we're going to sort. We have a joker, flower, east and south with a pair of V's, red, white, singles, 6-8, pair 8, 3-8, crack, singles, 7-8, in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? Tell me what category you would focus on and what would be your first tiles to pass with these tiles. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I know what I would do because I target multiples. There's a hint. Anybody want to say what they would play? What category they would focus on? Okay. <clears throat> I'll just share what I would. Oh, robots. Oh, thank you, Mona. I think you might you you might be behind in the live stream, Mona. You might want to move the um, the bar or the little dot under the video to the right because. I asked that question several seconds ago. Anyhow, all right. If this were my hand, I would play like numbers with eights. We have a pair of eights, and that's where my eye went first. The pair of eights. We do have a pair of E's. So I would probably hold that for just a little bit. And then I would hold the eights, like numbers with eights. And oops, since we have all the eights, I would probably also hold the corresponding dragons and then I would discard the leftover tiles. Consecutive run. So Wes, you would play six, seven, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. Is that what you would focus on? We can do both at the moment if we let the wins go, but I typically don't pass two wins. I, I don't think I would do that here. I would probably let the six go. So here we have like numbers with eights or seven, eight consecutive run. Like numbers with eights says Mona, good. That's what I would do. Okay, we got an east and a west. Here's a seven band. Oh, that six would have been nice, but we let it go. No shoulda, coulda, woulda. Just move forward. We have a two. Let's see. East and west. 
I would let the seven dot go and probably the wind. And I would focus on like numbers with eights. We have no gaps. Okay, now here's a seven crack. We have tiles we can pass to a different person there. Actually, I think we just let an east go. Let's pass it east to the person on our left. Okay, we have a red dragon. There's a pair in there now. And there's another pair with a seven, eight. Seven, eight, red dragon. Those don't go together. Second Charleston. We have a pair of wests too. These, this is when you would look at your multiples in, and break them up because they don't go together. We could let a, a west go with a uh, red dragon. It's not going to be helpful with a seven, eight paired up like that. I would let the seven crack go and still focus on like numbers with eights. We're hoping to get eights. Okay, we did get the six back. Okay, now here we finally have no gaps with east and west with six, seven, eight. So I'd probably hold that and let the dragon go. We're going across. I would very rarely pass two dragons. I would let the eight go instead and focus on six, seven, eight with east and west. Let's hope that we get the east-west back. We did not. We got a nine. We need tiles to pass, though. Let's pass four, green, nine. Courtesy pass. Okay, no keepers there. Let's see. We have an eight dot. We could let three tiles go. Let's see if we can get the east and west back. We got one. There's an east. So now we have five. Oh, let's see. Yeah, five discards, but we have a hand with no gaps. East and west with a run. We tried like numbers with eights, but they did not come in. We paired up the seven bam and then had an east-west. So east and west with a run. Second hand down on the right under wins, no gaps. There was no gaps with like numbers too, but we have that pair of seven bams. If you develop another multiple, target all your multiples and play something that can use the most of your multiples. So even though we're, we have five discards, we're the dealer, so we have an extra tile, we would discard the South and be left with four discards. So I would say we have a pretty good chance to win. There is a weakness here, though. We need that six bam because that needs to be a pair. All right. So we're going to play with robots now, and we're going to have still the opportunity to do Charleston, you know, focus on the Charleston because that's part of the game. So we'll still talk about Charleston decision making, but we're going to play the pick and discard phase of the game as well. So let me share my screen. All right, we're going to do bot level two. First Charleston. So I'm going to sort my tiles. Now, I believe we're on a timer here. So we have a pair of flowers, pair north, red dragon, three, five, and bams paired. One, four, five, and cracks, pair four, and a five dot. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? Put it in the comment section below super quick. If these were my tiles, I would focus on numbers and break up the north. I would pass north. We have three, five, and bams. We could maybe try for a little odd hand, but we also have a four crack pair. I would probably pass. You might think, well, let's keep the red dragon. We have, we'd have to throw away, let's see. We'd have to probably throw away these two pair unless we get one, one three in dots. That's a pretty big risk. I would let the red dragon go. I would focus on three, four, five, or maybe little odds. And this north will probably go. Okay, so we have a north, an eight, and a nine that can go. We have pairs in here, three, four, five of some kind. They don't quite gel, but we'll see. We have east and west. Maybe, well, no, we have a pair of flowers. I would not keep the winds 
because we have the flowers with multiples. So I would break up the east west. I'd probably pass one west nine. Okay, now there's a four band. We filled a gap. Three, four, five. I would focus on consecutive run. Here's a five crack. Four, five, four, five. Pung Kong, Pung Kong, or three, four, five. Let's see, three, four, five. Like numbers with fives. We need to keep going. We've got to pick a hand. So if you if these are your tiles, you might be tempted to stop the Charleston. And we could stop the Charleston. You can stop the Charleston. No questions asked, but we would have to eventually pick a hand. We can't just straddle the fence with two categories. Eventually, we have to pick a hand. In my opinion, it's best to do it now because we're turning, we would turn down up to 12 more tiles that could help build the strongest hand. So for these tiles, I probably would break up, let's see here. We could do four, five, four, five, or three, four, five in one suit, or like numbers with fives. I'd probably let the three BAM go and later let the flowers go and focus on four, five, four, five, or like numbers with fives. And I would I would risk, let's see, I would risk passing two wins here. Second Charleston. And break up the three. This is kind of a hard one. But we have four, five, four, five, no gaps, three multiples. We wouldn't use the flowers, but we could also maybe play like numbers with fives and use the flowers and let the four crack go. Okay, so now we've got, let's see here. Here's the, a three bam still. We have a matching dragon, but it's super weak and we would have to throw away two pair. I wouldn't do that. I would not recommend that. So I would again, let this, Three bam go. One, three, dragon. Why not the five dot? Because we could play like numbers. We could play like numbers with fives. I'll just show it to you. There it is right there. Like numbers with fives with the flowers. Do you see it there, Lori? Okay, no keepers here. Although we, we did get the dragon and we do have tiles that we can pass like numbers no i wouldn't say like numbers is stronger but it does use three multiples but so does four five four five which is even the strongest probably four five four five which would be the third hand from the bottom under consecutive run that would use one two three multiples and you can use any number of jokers with that particular hand. So we're in between like numbers with fives or four, five, four, five. We're kind of in between hands. Four, five, four, five, or like numbers with fives and the flowers. Courtesy pass. Okay, no keepers. So we have seven, eight west. Those can go for sure. Okay, we didn't get any keepers, but let's see. I think I would keep that red or that green dragon for a little bit because we might be able to do like numbers with dragons and fives. We have three discards before we have to pick a hand. So I would gather until one of our tiles is discarded when we would have to make a choice. So we're in between like numbers with fives, one or both, either one of them. We need the white dragon and the red dragon, of course, but we have a pair of flowers. We could also play the Kong hand. We've got two pair of fives and a single five, but we could also maybe play four, five, four, five, third hand from the bottom under consecutive run, four, five, four, five. We have three tiles we can pass and that's where I would start. So we're gonna let the one crack go. One crack, one bam. Okay, we do not need a one bam. Eight crack. Don't need an eight crack. That will be a good so, discard next. That could be a useful tile for us right there if we played like numbers with fives and dragons. So we got to keep an eye on the white dragon. Since the eight crack is discarded, let's throw that. Eight crack south. We'll tuck this three bam in there. Incidentally, somebody kept the three bam. So we might see the three bam 
in an exposure, maybe even with a joker. One crack. Okay, we don't need that. West. No, we're good. We have a pair of eight dots. Okay, now this might be helpful later in the game. We might be able to hold this pair. One of our opponents maybe could claim one of these and expose, make an exposure with a joker. And we can use the other one on our next turn to get the joker. That's called joker B. I have a lot of videos on how that works. It's hit or miss, but we can try. I would let the three BAM go. Now, when I discard this three BAM, don't be surprised if one of these robots calls it for an exposure. Three BAM call. East. There it is. They kept the three BAMs. Okay, now East, we don't need it. Nine crack, we can let that go. One of the robots kept the nine crack that was going around. Let's see if it comes out. Nine crack. Call. There Nine it is. Dot. With a joker. Nine crack with a joker. Okay, let's pass. Flower. Now, I would not, we can't call that. There's no pung of flowers this year. We got a keeper for BAM. So I would not play like numbers with fives because now we have a pair of four BAMs. Anytime you develop a new multiple, reassess and target the multiple. So I would play four, five, four, five. We have two pair we don't need. We have the pair of flowers and the pair of eight dots. We don't need either one of those. I would play four, five, four, five. Maybe we could keep the five for a little bit. I would let the dragon go. Green, one bam, five bam. Okay, we need to con that. We're not ready, so we have to ignore it. Flower. We'll pass. I was hoping maybe one of the robots would take that with an exposure, but they didn't. Let's let the eight bam go. Eight bam. We want to so. try to hold this these pairs until 60 tiles. That's the middle of the game. We're going to pass. Seven dot. We're good there. Nine bam. Don't need that. Two crack. I wouldn't hold that. Two crack. If I'm not playing Two in bam. your hand, I try to discard your tiles. Two, three. Seven bam. Just to try to figure out what is best to discard useless tiles, your tiles, if you're not playing them, I Call will let those go. Crack. Okay, now there's another joker up for grabs. Now here, that's our tile. We could pung, and I would, because we have a hand with no gaps. So we'll pung. Call. And then I would let the five dot go. We're not playing like numbers. We're committed with four, five, four, five. Five dot. One crack. Okay, now there's 77 tiles left. We need to get to 60 if we can. We probably should let these flowers go because somebody still maybe could use them. We don't want to hold on to them for too joker long. Joker swap. Two dot. Okay. Somebody just did a joker exchange. Seven dot. Green dragon. We already let that go. Green. Five crack. That's a con for us. We need two jokers now. Eight dot. Oh, now let's see if someone takes this with a joker. Flower. Nope. So now we can let those go. They will not be good joker bait. And it looks like... Eight dot. It looks like Four dot. nobody wants flowers either. Six crack. We don't need that. Five dot. We're looking for jokers at this point. I don't want to hold dragons Red. though. Eight crack. Dragons can be risky to hold on so. to. There's only three of them. North. Okay. One crack is out. Let's let eight the dot, eight go. Eight bam. And then let's let the flowers go next. North. Because someone could still need flowers. They're just not ready to call them. Green. We're at 60, 59 tiles. So let's let one of these flowers go. Flower. Green. Oh, it seems nobody wants flowers. West. Or eight wins. dot. So let's let that flower. Go. Oh, look, East. we developed another multiple, the nine bam. So let's let that go next and see if we can get a another opportunity to exchange for a joker. Eight bam. We're still in the middle Eight game. Crack. So, oh, we got a keeper, the four bam, four, five, four, five. Let's let the nine bam go. Nine bam, west. Nobody wanted it, so we'll let that go. Flower. 
we're good there. Four dot. Don't need four dot. Let's let the, uh, let's see here. There are no six dots out. That's going to be pretty risky. At 40 tiles remaining, that's the end game. You want to try to hold on to safe discards when you get this close to the end game. We're really one pick away, maybe two picks from the end game. Right now, it appears nobody wants wins, and there are three one cracks out. So those are going to be two safe discards. The six dot is the riskiest tile we have because none are out. So we're very close to that 40 tile guideline. I would throw the six now. Six dot call. red. There's a call. If we held on to that later, we might have had to pay, you know, for a winning hand. Five Never. bam. Okay, now we need another joker. Seven crack. So we need three jokers at this point. Here's one. Joker swap. So we got a joker for one of our fives. Oops. Probably maybe the five crack. All right, let's let the nine bam go. Now over here to the right, there are two exposures. So they are playing six, seven, six, seven. Six dot, seven dot, six bam, seven bam. I think that's what they're playing there. Let's see. Now they could be playing uh, four, five, six, seven, bam, eight, crack. That is another hand that they could be playing. Let's see. Four, five, pair, five dot. How many five dots are out? Two. And there are two four dots out. And there are how many eight cracks are out? One, two, three. My guess is they're playing six, seven, six, seven because there are three eight cracks out. Six, seven, six, seven, third hand from the bottom under consecutive run. So if we get a six bam or a seven dot, we might fold. Hold on to safe discards at end game. You want to start holding safe discards towards the end of the middle game, which is right before, you know, like um, 44 tiles left. We're at 43. So there's only one more pick left in the middle game. 40 tiles is the beginning of the end game. So with this next pick, we will be in the end game. And at the moment, we have two safe discards. So let's discard the nine bam. Nine bam, three dot. We're good there. Call, four dot. Okay, there's a, a joker for grabs there across from us. Nine bam. We're good there. Seven crack. That should be safe. They're the Joe Curtis, the player across from us, they're playing a three, six, nine hand. Let's see. Three dot. They're playing the fourth, fifth hand down under three, six, nine. Three crack, six crack, pair, nine crack with Kongs of threes. So they're going to need three bams, which are all over here. If I think that's what they're doing over there. I don't think they're, they could be playing any other hand here with a Kong of three dots and a Pung of nines. This is the only hand it could be. So they're going to need lots of jokers for their three bam. Three, three jokers. I don't think they have that. So three crack, six crack are going to be risky for this player across from us there's one six crack out we have we have two safe discards the seven crack is a fresh tile so i would discard that first the player on our left they could be playing maybe the first hand under odds in mixed suits one three bam pair pung then let's say five dot a uh, kong with seven, nine, and cracks. That's just a guess. Let's throw the seven. Seven crack, West. They didn't take it, so we're okay. Four crack. We're good there. Flower. We don't need flowers. Nobody wants flowers. Red. Two bam. Looks like nobody wants dragons. Nine dot. Two bam. Okay. Nor, I don't think anybody wants wins. One crack. Two crack. We're good there. Two dot. 
So we need jokers. Okay, let's let the top go. Or the nine north. dot six band. I don't think anybody's playing wins. Call three crack. That would be a single for the player across from us. And the player to our right, Wes, they are playing six seven six seven. Nine crack. North. No one's playing wins. East. Seven crack. East. Seven crack. We're good. Nobody wants dragons. Red. Five dot. We're good. Joker dad. swap. Mahjong. Oh, they got Mahjong. There's their hand. That's nice. All right. So we got we got pretty close. A pair. We were a pair away. These were safe. Nobody wanted wins. And we we really needed two more jokers because our fives went down. All right. So let's play again. First Charleston. Quick deal. Okay, here we go. So I want you to tell me what you would do here. We have East West singles, White Dragon, 247 in BAMs, 159 in cracks, pair one, 348 in dots. What category would you focus on here? Oh, sorry, I have an itchy nose. Odds. Two for odds. One, three, five, seven, nine. Let's see. Two. We could maybe play an odd hand. It's a little bit, it's not quite gelling. What I would also consider though is news with consecutive pungs because we do have east west singles and there's a two. If we kept odds, we would hold one, five, nine. And the three. That leaves us with like numbers with fours, an eight dot, and a white dragon. I wouldn't pass a white dragon. I would pass the four and the eight, and then we have to let something go. Probably the nine crack. Let's see. If we keep the nine crack, we could let the three dot go in case we get one suit, but that would be one hand. I'm kind of hoping that we get wins. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have a three. So now there's two, three. There's a four. Dragon, here's six, seven. So I would let this dragon go. We have one, five, nine, pair one. So the one crack should be the, the waypoint. The one crack, that is the deciding multiple right there. Whatever we play, we're going to use the one crack. Target multiples. So with a one crack, there's no way we can use a six bam. So I would let that go. With a one crack, the only way we could really use the one crack is if we maybe get a nine bam, five bam, nine bam, maybe play the concealed hand. It's not looking good. I would probably let the nine crack go. I still am hoping for wins. There's one. Okay, now look here. We got a one crack, one crack pong now. Here's a west paired up. Anytime you build a multiple, no matter what it is, reconsider what you're doing. There's a nine dot. We have a lot. We clearly have odds. So let's actually, I do kind of want to hold that too. I think the West can go East and West with a pung of ones doesn't really work. And we have no other one. We have no Joker. So I wouldn't think about playing a Quint, even though we had a pair of Wests and a pung of ones. I wouldn't think about playing a Quint without Jokers or the other block. Uh, let's see. So we have one, five, three, seven, nine. 
I think I would let the three go. I still wouldn't pass the white dragon. Okay, now we have a Kong of ones. Here's an eight man. A one crack Kong with an eight, seven, eight. That's not going to work at all. And even a one crack Pong with four, five. It looks pretty, but it's not helpful at all. Okay, so we're going to keep Second going. Charleston. Let's see, with a one crack Kong, I think what I would do, let's see, one crack Kong, I'd probably focus on, let's see here, let's just keep number tiles. One crack Kong, let's see, nine, eight, one crack Kong, five, I would let the four go. Okay, now there's a nine bam. So we have one, five, seven, nine. I'm thinking maybe we could try for the concealed hand. So we have to let something go. I would let the winds go. Oh my gosh, and there we go. Look at the winds. The winds came in east, west. Okay, so we definitely don't need a, a four. All right, now one crack Kong, five cracks, seven, nine, and bams. The only way we can use those tiles is if we play the concealed hand and there's an extra one. East and west, we have no other tiles to use for our Kong. I, I would just let the east go and probably the two at this point. Courtesy pass. All right, now we get the other one at this point. Silly robots. This is where I would maybe be tempted to play the quint. Oh, but look, we got the seven crack. Okay, so I would let the two and a seven go. I wouldn't pass a two dot with a white dragon. That would be risky. I would keep the one dot in the west. Maybe we could play that quint as a long shot. I think I would hold the seven nine for maybe the concealed odd hand. So I would pass two. So no keepers. All right, we have a long way to go. Seven crack. Yeah. Three bam. Okay, we're good there. Joker. All right, nice. Let's let the white dragon go. So six dot. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Let's see if we get more jokers. One right bam. now, the quint looks pretty good to me. Nine dot. Two bam. We're going to let that two go. Two bam. East. Nobody took it. Two dot. We're good there. Green. Don't need it. Five crack. All right. Concealed. Four bam. Odds Six concealed crack. maybe. We have, a, we have a gap. No five bam, but maybe we could use the joker. I probably would let the quint idea go. Play the odd hand. Six odd, bam. Odd concealed. Two crack. Nine bam. That's a keeper. Six bam. Three dot. We have an extra one crack. One dot. Nine dot. So that one dot can go. Two dot is already out. Two dot. Seven bam. That's a single for Call. us. Probably. Five bam. Oh, okay. Now here, look, 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 look. Oh my goodness. We have a joker exchange. I would take it. Let's see if we can get it. Green. I would take it. Joker swap. Let's let the south go. South. Eight bam. Okay, now we're going to play that quint. We're playing a quint. Seven dot. No. North. No. Five dot. We really don't need that. We have five, nine. Let's let the five, five dot. Six dot. It's just kind of turning out this six way with crack. this quint. Nine bam. What do you guys think of this quint? There's another nine joker. Nine bam. Nine crack. Check it out. Oh my goodness. Three dot. Two crack. No. We'll let the nine, nine bam. Go. Two crack. North. Three dot. Oh, white dragon's already Seven. out. Three dot. Five crack. Okay, no. Let's see if someone takes it with a joker. East. Darn. 
<gasps> one dot. Look at, oh my gosh. We're one away from set. We need another joker for the one crack. Eight crack. West. Okay, let's call. We're going to calm. Call. Five crack. Joker swap. East. Okay. South. We can, we can quint our one dot. We need a joker still. Four bam. Five crack. Eight bam. No. Nine dot. No, we're good there. Eight crack. We don't need eight. We need a joker. Green. Eight bam. All right. We Seven need, dot. We need these robots one to bam. do exposures with jokers. Seven crack. Seven dot. No, we're good. Four bam. We're good there. Three bam. We are looking Call. for seven dots. Okay, now there's a joker up for grabs. Let's see. No three bams are out. Red. We're good there. Eight dot. We don't Call. need that. Six crack. Another joker up for grabs. I don't see an eight dot. All right. Let's see if we can get North. another eight dot. I mean, another joker. <laughs> we need another joker. Seven crack. Okay. Eight crack. All right. We need an eight dot or a three bam. One bam. Oh, we just need to draw a joker. Eight crack. Oh, three crack. Three crack. Six dot. Okay. Two crack. Six dot. We're in the end game. 30 tiles left. White dragon. So south. Okay, now there's a five bam out. So this should be okay. Three crack. For a pass. We probably Six should bam. swap it out with a safer tile. 8 bam, 8 bam, 2 are out. So let's keep the 8 bam since there are 2 out. There's only one 5 bam out. 5 bam. Oh, that 3 bam, bam is already out. It's up there. So we need the 8 dot or a joker from the wall. North. East. We need a joker. 2 dot. 5 bam. Okay. South. We need that 8 dot. 5 bam. <gasps> we got the joker. Six crack. Okay, we're ready to win on a one dot. Seven crack. There are none out. One bam. Two dot. Two bam. Red. Okay. One dot. There it is. Mahjong. Woohoo! Mahjong. Quint. Does anybody here play quint? Are you hesitant to play a quint? What are your thoughts about playing quints? Oh, Judy, you need to move your dot under the video forward. That was a while ago. I think you're joining us a little late. The game moves fast. Yes, it does. I try to slow it down by commenting, but it is a fast First game Charleston. when you play online at I Love Maj. Quints are scary. They are. But if you if you have really strong multiples and no gaps, you might consider it. Okay, now we have a pair of flowers, a west, two, five, six, eight in bams, two, three, seven, eight in cracks and a three, seven in dots. Our only multiple is with the flower. So whatever we play, we're gonna use the flower. Since it, with these tiles, does anybody have, want to comment? East, west with a run. Oh, Judy, under the video, tap the video and move the red dot to the far right because you're, you're behind the, in the video. You need to come up to where we are now. Oh, she's not going to hear hear us. She's in the past. <laughs> she's in the wayback machine. Darn it. Okay. Would it, what would um, what would you guys play with these tiles? We're kind of in between two, three, or five, six, seven, eight of some kind. I think I would hold five, six, seven, eight. Okay, why? No. 
let's see, five, six, seven, eight of some kind. I don't think Judy can hear us. She's in the past. <laughs> okay, we're going to let the, the West go and we'll break up the, we'll pass one of the twos and one of the threes. So we're going to hold five, six, seven, eight. There's, let's see, one, two, three, four of the two, three. And then there's way more of these bigger numbers. Oh, the chat isn't in the past. Okay. Okay, so there's a nine. We still have little numbers. Oh, look, wait, wait. We got a multiple. The two. Okay, we reassess completely. We have a two bam pair. So I would go the other way. I would hold maybe for two, four, six, eight. I would throw, uh, let's see, with a two bam pair, I would probably let the eight go and the seven. Okay, we got a one. So we re we did a reassessment there. East can go, seven crack can go. We have to make a choice. We have one, two, five, six. Uh, okay, then we have one, three, four and cracks. Two bam pair. That's the deciding tile. Whatever we do, we're gonna keep the two. So with a pair of flowers, we could do one, two, maybe one, two, three in mixed suits. Let's see, we could do two, three, four of some kind. Maybe two, three, four, five. I think I would let, we have no four BAMs, so I think I would let the eight BAM go. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Okay, we got a two crack. A seven, eight in cracks. I think the big numbers need to go. We have one through four over there. This is going to be a little bit risky. Charleston stop courtesy pass. Oh, Agata. Agata stopped the Charleston. I would pass fully. We need help. So. And we got some help. So that risk was worth it. We have a, a three now. We've got threes. So really we have one discard and we have all other, other than that seven dot, we have all one through five and I wouldn't pick a hand. We're going to gather until we see more strength and then we'll pick a hand, but we, we have a discard before we have to discard anything else. Probably that five band will likely go. Okay. We're going to ignore Flower. that. And we're going to just stick with a pair because we don't know what we're playing. We don't need wins. East flower. We're good there. Five crack. We don't need a five crack flower. Don't need flower right now. Okay. Now look, we got a one bam. Uh, that one bam looks like roadkill, but it is a one bam. Looks like it could have been run over or maybe stepped on by some waffle stompers which are Colorado for hiking boots. Okay, so we have one, two, three of some kind in here. The seven dot can go. Seven dot. Now we have all one keepers. Crack. We're going to have to whittle out these keepers. We can't keep them all. Can't do anything with that one crack. Six crack. Don't need a, don't need a six crack. Five dot. We're looking for little numbers. We got another flower. Okay, we have a hand. Second hand from the bottom. One, two, three, three. And that's just because we gathered. One, two, three, three. Actually, I'm going to move the flowers here because it's kind of hard to separate from the waffle stompers. Waffle stompers. Those are hiking boots. In Colorado, we called them waffle stompers. Because if you step on something, it looks like a waffle. Anyway, okay. We could maybe do one, two, three in one suit and let a flower go. I would probably keep that one, uh, that three, three bam. We could do one, two bam, three, four crack, but we'd have to let a pung of flowers go. But that kind of whittles out some of the, useless tiles with a one, two pair. 
and a pung of flowers, I would probably let these tiles to the right go. So let's let the five bam go. Five bam, one dot. Okay, we should reel it in. This is nitty gritty. That's my bad for being silly. Okay, here we go. Nine Back dot. To nitty gritty. Nine dot, we don't need. Eight dot. Eight dot, we don't need. Nine crack, we can let that go. Nine crack, one bam. Okay, now we that's a single probably for us. If we play one, two, three, three, second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. West. We don't need that. Three bam. Uh, we don't need that. We got a keeper. One crack. Three crack. One crack. I would let this three bam go and focus on one, two, three, three. We have three discards. Four dot. If a flower goes down, we could Kong. East. We're going to pass. We don't need red. Red. South. We don't need that. Six bam. So we don't Call. need that either. Nine bam. Okay, we're looking for little numbers. Six dots. We need threes. Call. Nine bam. Uh oh, we've got sixes. Somebody could be playing a three, six, nine hand. They could have our three. West. Nine dot. Four crack. Nines are going down though. Green. Maybe they're doing two, four, six, eight. Wouldn't that be nice? Nine dot. Eight crack. Let's see. There's a lot of nines out. Call. Five bam. Oh, there's a joker up for grabs. Eight dot. No. Five crack. Okay. Let's let the three bam. Three go. bam. One dot. West. We're good there. Nine dot. We're okay for two. We got a keeper. Oh my goodness. Two crack. East. Nice. We're set. We could Pung and Kong. We're good to go here. Green. So we're playing a second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Two crack. We don't need a seven dot. Seven dot. Red. I was afraid someone was going to take that. One dot. Five bam. I'm excited for this hand. This came in nicely. Four bam. Call. Red. Came in real quick. There are two, four, six, eight to the right. Let's see. Three, four. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Six bam pung. Six eight. Two four six eight pong kong pong kong. One suit. Third hand down under evens. Two dots. So they need two bams. We have them. And no eight bams are out yet. Four crack. Oh, we do not want green dragon. Green. Green. We're good there. Two dots. We have a good discard here with the four crack. Nobody seems Three to want crack. it. There we go. Let's call. Pong. Call. Five crack. Nine crack. We still need a flower. There are three out right now. Two dot. We're good there. One crack. We're we're good there. A four dot is out. Four crack. I think there's, let's see, two are out. Four dot. Three crack. We're good. We already did South. that one. Eight dot. We're still looking for a flower. Three bam. Nine crack. South. Maybe we'll get that eight crack. Three bam. East. It looks like nobody wants uh, wins. Four crack. Nine bam. Nine bam. One dot. We're looking for a three dot. Oh, two crack. Two crack. Go. Five crack. So we're good there. West. We don't need a one bam. One bam. Five dot. We're good there. Four crack. North. Where are the flowers now? Two dot. North. We might need a joker South. for the flower. Seven bam. Don't need red. red. So we're good. Nine crack. Uh oh. Flower. There it is. Oh, I almost clicked Mahjong. <laughs> you don't want to do that. We're going to call. Call. And now we'll throw the east. east. Eight dot. Ready to win on a three dot. North. This player to our left. Three. They have a six dot pung. Six dot pung. They could be playing the third hand down under three, six, nine. They might have our three dot. Five crack. If we get a joker, we'll be okay. Maybe we can get the eight crack. We got a three dot. Oh my goodness. Look, it's pure. No jokers. Mahjong.
Woohoo! Mahjong. We got another good one. That's crazy. Even with it's going to work with those one bams. <laughs> All right, let's play again. First, Charles. Hopefully, we'll get to play two more games. Okay, this will be challenging again. Oh, thank you, Mona. Thanks for the support, Wes. Thank you. Oh, am I missing comments? Uh-oh. All right, there we go. All right, now. Oh, good. Oh, Judy caught up. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the quint. Yeah, that was, that, that really came in. It was kind of a dark horse, I guess. All right, now let's look at these tiles here. We have a pair of flowers, red dragon, three, four, nine, and bam, singles, one crack, single, two, three, four, five, singles and a west. So whatever we do, we're going to use these flowers. So let's see, we've got, I think I see a predominant pattern here. What about you? Does that, what do you guys see as the predominant pattern here? Thank you. Thanks, JL. What, what, what do you guys see for the predominant pattern here? Little numbers, Wes says. Little numbers. Yep. Little numbers. Two, three, four, one, two, two, three, four, five, probably. But we could maybe do one, two, three, four. Or we could do two, three, four, five. Either way, we have tiles we can pass. That right there is a pretty good pass. Consecutive run. Yep, that's what I would probably do. Two, three, four, five. We've got our first multiple, five dot. So whatever we do, we're going to use a pair of flowers and a pair of five dots. So now we have to let something go. Let's see, two, three, four, five, three, four, five dot, one crack. With a one crack and these flowers, we actually have a hand in here for odds. Third hand down under odds, one crack, three bam, five dot. I think what I would do is probably let the four bam go. Okay, now we have one, three, looks like little odds is really coming in strong. So we have two, three, four, five, or one, three, five mixed suit Kongs. So probably I would let the two and the five crack go. Because we could still do three, four, five one suit Kongs, fifth hand down on the left. Let's see here, four, five, three, four, three crack. Let's see, one, three, five, five. There is another hand in here though. One crack, three crack, five, five. That is the third hand from the bottom on the left. I'd let the three go. That's a little bit risky there. I think we're going to play a little odd hand here. We got a two. Not Charleston helpful. stock courtesy oh. pass. Okay, Joe Curtis, the player across from us, stopped the Charleston. So we don't want to pass any tiles. No. Seven dot. Thanks anyway. Three, four, three, four. Oh, well, we have a multiple with the five dot. That and the flowers is much stronger. Are you caught up with us, Judy? I wonder if you're, we're doing, uh, we have, we have a pair of flowers with a pair of five dots. Need to use them. We're gonna use the multiples. So we're gonna ignore that. Oh, here's a four though. Now we have four, five paired up. South. We're just going to keep Flower. gathering. There's two, three, four, five. We may or may not use the flowers. We'll see. We're not going to call that. Flower. No. Four bam. Okay. Really, we should put these together. Let's let the uh, red dragon red. go. We One have crack. two, three, four, five, no gaps. Second hand down on the right under odds. I mean, under 
under consecutive run. So we're good there. Three dot. Nope, we don't need it. Five crack. Look at all these. Let's see, four, five. There's a six. We have two through six. That's way too too big of a range. Let's let the six, six crack. crack. Nine bam. So two, three, four, five, Pong Kong, second hand down on the right under consecutive run using two, three, bam, four, five, dot. Or we could maybe do one, three, five, five. One, three, crack, five, bam, five, dot. Probably this five crack can go. Call three dot. We're, we're good. We don't need a three dot. Eight, bam. Six dot. Oh, now we're back to four, five, six in one suit with flowers. Five crack. Call three dot. And there's a five crack over there. They're playing five, seven, seven, nine, Pung Kong, Pung Kong. That would be a second hand down on the right under odds. Wait a minute. We're not going to call that. Seven bam. I didn't mean to call that. We'll ignore. Oh, look at now. There's four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we need to let something go. One, three, five, five, or two, three, four, five. Since we have no white dragon, I wouldn't consider the concealed hand, which is what we would use the seven dot for. I would seven dot throw it away. Nine crack. Two bam. We're good. Three bam. Nope, our tiles are going down. Now here's a four crack. So now we have four, five, and three, four. I would let four it go. Crack. Four bam. Four dot. Okay, now this is where we have to make a choice. Two, three, four, five, Pung Kong, Pung Kong. But the two bam and three bam just went down. The four dot we can Kong with a joker and use a pair of flowers with it. I think I would do it. We have four, five, six, one suit Kongs. Fifth hand down on the left with no gaps. I would call. Call. So that means we now have discards. Let's see here. We have four dot, five dot. So the five bam can go, the three can go. Let's throw the two bam. Two bam. Four crack. Okay, now we need to draw well. Flower. We have no gaps, but, but we have weakness. The, these, the five dot and six dot, those need to be Kongs. Two dot. Okay, let's let the three bam three go. Bam. It's out. Seven crack. We're good there. Four crack. Now this player across from us needed that seven crack. They need a Kong. So they're going to need a joker now. Three crack. Okay, that'll be a good discard. Three then. crack. Four bam. We're good there. Two crack. We don't need that. Eight crack. We're looking for five, six, and dots. we got a keeper. Okay, let's let the three bam three go. bam, joker swap. That is out. Red. So we're going to be able to Kong the four or the five dot. Red. Maybe we'll get a five crack. Nine dot. There's a joker for exchange there. Four bam is out. Four bam. Eight bam. We don't need that. Red. Now. South. Don't need Call. south. Call. Eight bam. Oh, there's a joker up for grabs now. South. Yep. Five bam. Okay. Nine crack. Oh, we took it so we can throw that. Oh. Five bam. There's Joker B. Six dot. We need to discard that next. Oh, there's our tile. We're not ready for it. Five bam. No. Nine crack. Okay. It's our turn. Oh, look. Joker. Joker swap. Thank you. Six bam. Three Nobody crack. took it. That's a bummer. Okay. So we got a Joker. Eight dot. Be nice if we can get the one for South. East. Because then we'd be ready to call for a six dot com. East. We don't need East. that. East. One bam. We're Three good. crack. One bam. Okay, now we need oh, two south. Two crack. We need Five that crack. south or any other joker or a six dot, I suppose. Eight dot. There's only one six dot out. One bam. <gasps> we got it. One crack. Nine crack. All right. We're set now. We can Kong Kong. Six bam. We're good there. Two bam. And nobody wants that six. Six bam. Two bam. Five dot. Call. Kong. Call. All right. Six bam. We're ready to win six on a crack. six dot. 
Six dot. There it is. Mahjong. Woohoo! Mahjong. That one came in too. Four, five, six. We leveraged the multiples with the flowers and the five, and then the others came. We had a little help with jokers. Oh, this player across from us, five, seven, seven, nine. They're ready to win on a seven crack or a seven bam. All right, let's play again. First Charleston. <laughs> Thank you, JL. Oh, look at here. We have three jokers. We have a north pair white dragon, two, three, six, and bams. One, two, six, eight, and cracks. Uh, that Yes, that was the consecutive run, fifth hand down on the left. Pair flowers with cogs of dots, consecutive dots. So here we have a pair of white dragons. What would you guys focus on with these tiles? I'll give you a minute. I know what I would do. Oh, thank you, Judy. So what would you guys focus on with uh, Mona says play a quint. There are no quints with dragons, though. We have a pair of dragons. No quints with dragons. Even, says Wes. The even hand with dragons. Oh, hey, good eye. Good eye, Wes. Two, eight, dragon. We could maybe do that. We could also maybe play a year hand. And with a year hand, we could maybe use wins. Year hand. I think so too, Judy. JL says year. Okay, let's see how this goes. We got eights. No, we, we don't need those at all. Okay, so we're playing either two, eight. Oh, look, we got a keeper. Okay, now let's see. One dot can go. Let's throw the north. Oh my gosh, I'm not passing a pair. Oh my goodness. We had a pair of norths. But really, that's not helpful without these other tiles. Let's see. Two, three, two, eight, two, eight, one, bam, three, bam. All right, let's just see what happens here. Okay, we got nines. Let's see. The, that's not helpful though at all. Second Charleston. We'll keep it going. Okay, now we have an eight. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of two, eight, two, eight, one, nine, north. I'm still kind of hoping the year hand comes in though. Let's see. Let's let the two bam go. Okay, so we have north five six nine not not helpful really at all so let's do five oh five seven nine no i don't think we should do that six seven nine into two suits that's not bad courtesy pass okay so uh we oh no wrong wrong dragon darn okay we did get an east and here's a two bam so i probably would let the two bam go you know what? I would maybe keep these wins and let the dragon go because we could maybe play a quint again with the eights. No keepers. All right, let's just see what happens. Maybe two eight dragons, second hand from the bottom under evens. Here's a six, seven eight, seven eight dragon. The three can go. Three bam, flower. Okay, we we're not interested. Call in six flower. crack. There's a joker right there. Nine crack. Okay. All right. So we have seven, eight, nine in there. Let's let the six dot go. That's not helpful six at all. Six dot. So any tiles that are isolated, those would be good to go. And I wouldn't call that dragon because we don't have a green dragon. And we need to build up our 2-8. We could maybe call that, but we have a gap. No, I would not do it. Joker swap. Five crack. Five dot. Somebody got Joker already. 
Okay, so 2468 is coming in a little bit. Let's let the 9 crack go. 9 crack. 3 bam. We'll let that go. 2 bam. We're good there. Flower. Let's see if we can get a 6 crack in here, maybe. No. That 7 bam. Call. 5 crack. Ooh, seven, 7 bam Kong out there. 8 crack. Okay. I wouldn't take it. We have a gap. No green dragon. If we play 2 8 dragon. Seven crack. Nope. We do not need one dot one at all. One dot. Nine bam. I'm kind of thinking the seven can go. Seven dot. Four dot. Call. Eight dot. There's a joker up for grabs. Okay, eight dot. The only way I would use that is for the quint. And we don't have big multiples with the wins yet. So I would not use, we would have to use all three jokers. I would not do that. Two bam. That, that would be uh, risky. Oh, we got an eight bam. All right. Well, seven crack, four crack. Okay, so we have all the eights now. You know what we could maybe do is play the second hand down under evens now. I would probably let the wins go at this point. Nine crack, seven dot. We're good there. Don't need five bam. Five bam, five dot, eight crack. If we play that second hand down, under evens, two crack pair, four, six singles, eight crack pair, and then Kongs of eights. So we would ignore that eight crack. Three bam. We have no flowers, so I wouldn't keep this red dragon. Red, two bam. For maybe the concealed hand. Three dot, three dot. No. Three crack. That's not helpful with an eight crack pair. Three crack. Five crack. Looks like all these little numbers are down. Look at all the two, three. Two, three. Out. Four crack. Red. Nine bam. Don't need that. Nine bam. Green. We probably should let these wins go. Somebody might be playing wins. Red. North. Nobody kept the north. North. West. We'll let that go. West. Nobody east. wants wins, I guess. Oh my gosh. Then we get east and west. East. Nine crack. South. Green. Oh, we west. got a, we got a keeper. Nine bam. So I would let the white dragons go at this point and play try for two, four, six, eight with eights. But it's going to be risky because we need a two crack in there and that six. Green. Seven crack. See if we can get a two crack or a six. Five dot. Nine dot. Second hand down under even. Joker swap. Green. West. We got the six. Five bam. Nine dot. Okay, so let's just set these up. We're ready to Kong the eights. If we can con the eights, we'll be ready to win on a two. Two crack. We don't know what the player on our left is doing, Agatha. And we don't know what the player across from us is doing yet. Three dot. We're good there. Two crack. Uh-oh, that's our tile. Nobody took it, though. So, seven dot. Okay, so. Seven crack. The first two crack is out. Two dot. Call. <gasps> Four oh, my gosh, that dang wasp. Hold. Oh, ah! Ah! I don't like bugs. God gone it. He flew right over my head. Oh, it's like a big orange one. Oh my gosh. I don't like bugs. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's over there now. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't scare you. Okay, ignore. Call. Oh my two gosh, crack. it hit me in the head. Okay, two crack. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're gonna dunk on it. We're gonna ignore that too, of course. We One need, dot. We need a pair. Flower. Dang it. Oh. So, six dots. Okay, I need to try to kill that thing. Four crack. It hit me. I know. It hit me in the head. Ew. <laughs> I'm probably going to have nightmares Six crack. 
I have nightmares about bugs. One bam. Six Ew. dot. Okay, pass. One bam. We need a two crack. South. Come on, where's our eights? Two bam. Flower. Okay, I'm scared I'm going to discard an eight bam. We're going to put them over here for safekeeping. Five dot. Four bam. Okay. South. We'll let that go. South. Six crack. Okay, now we need a two crack. Five crack. There's one more. North. East. East. One bam. Nine dot. No. Three bam. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Three crack. All right. Three crack. Two dot. It looks like nobody wants the nines. Nine crack. Okay. Three crack. Okay. Red. Red. North. Okay, pass. East. So. Okay, come on now. Five bam. I see two. They're playing four, five, six, seven. This five bam would be risky. Look here at West. I think, I think we might. Nine bam, two crack. Okay, there goes our tile. We're not ready. Three crack. One, two. How many two cracks are out? Three. Yeah, our hand is gone. Oh, bummer. That's a bummer. Three dot. Nobody wants wins. South. Flower. Six dot. Seven dot. We're good. Wall game. Oh, my goodness. They weren't ready. But that five bam would have been a risky discard. Oh, look. The eights over here across from us. All right, we can play one more game. Okay, hold on one second. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> shoot, there's two of them. Oh, shoot. There are two of those stinking wasps up in my, the window in my, what is it called? A foyer or something like that. The entryway. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I really don't like bugs. When will when will this post? It'll be with within an hour afterwards. First Charleston. We're gonna play one more game. Okay, we have a six dot pair. Uh so whatever we do, we're gonna use six dot six seven four five six seven. So let's let the dragon go. We have north and south. We might be able to use that. We have a four, six, seven. I think the four should go. Four, five, six, seven. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's let the five go. Okay, here's wins. Okay, now this is where I would think about that concealed hand. Okay, six dot seven crack. The uh, nine crack can go. Here's six, seven, six, seven. Let's let this eight bam go. We do not need a pair of east. We have a pair of sixes in here. Two red. So if we play the concealed news hand, is probably what I would do. I would hold those and let these go here but maybe we could hold all wins. Let's let the six crack go. We got a keeper, seven. We're gonna Second keep Charleston. going. We've got tiles to pass. We don't need wins, but let's see, four, nine, east, west. I think I would play the concealed hand. We got a south and we have three tiles to pass. Extra east. Courtesy pass. Okay, no keepers. We have three discards and a hand. News concealed. Oh, we still can pass. I would risk it. I would risk passing seven, eight, and one suit. Seven we dot. No, we have no gaps. East. We're good there. Two crack. Okay, we don't need that. Let's let the dragon Red. Throw. West. We need eight north dot. and south. 
Six, Five seven, bam. Six dot seven crack. Green. Eight bam. We're Call there. seven dot. Nope. We need seven Four crack. crack. Okay, let's let the one, one crack. Go. Eight dot. We're good there. Nine bam. Don't need nine. We need Four six, crack. seven. Oh, uh, dragons. Green. Seven bam. What is going on? Six dot. That's our tile. We're five crack. Schooled. One crack. Six crack. One dot. Okay, we need six dot seven crack. Call. We're North. playing concealed news. Eight crack. Three crack. One bam. Okay, one dot is up for grabs. Joker East. right there. Eight crack. We don't need that. Eight crack. Three dot. We're good there. Two dot. Okay. That'll be a North. good discard right there. North's going down. Two dot. I guess we Four can save the seven bam. One is out. We'll see. Soap. Don't need soap. Five crack. We're looking for a six dot. Oh, five crack. That just went five down. Five crack. Joker swap. Oh, I guess the Red. five bam we could use maybe if the seven crack doesn't come. Green. We're good there. Three crack. West. Oh. Two crack. Nine crack. Winds are going down. Eight crack. Soap. No, we don't need that. Six crack. West. Two crack. All right. Six bam. Three dot. We need six dot seven crack. Or, yeah. Nine crack. We don't need Nine that. Nine crack. One bam. Nine bam. No. Nope. West. We're good. Three crack. Don't need Three it. Three crack. Nine dot. And now we're going to need a joker for the north. Four crack. Five bam. We got a keeper. An option. Six crack. Nine crack. We have one discard. Before nine we have bam. To make a choice. Nine crack. Five dot. No. Five dot. Mahjong. Oh darn. We got a winner. All right, let's play another game. Two, three, four, five, Pong Pong. First okay. Charleston. We're going to try one more. Oh, look, we have North and South. Let's see here. Oh, fudge. Yes, yes, that was a fudge. Okay, here's three, four, three, four, North, South. We have two multiples, 4 BM South. Okay, so let's let the one go with a seven and then the two dot, I guess. Okay, now here's a West. Maybe we'll get wins. Let's let six, four, nine go. Okay, there's a West. Eight, seven. I think I would play news. Let's let the four go. Let's see if we can get more wins. I would play all wins here. Okay, so we second Charleston. So let's do north and then our nine, a four, and a and a eight. No. Let's do a three in there with a four dot. There, one of each suit. I'm still hoping we'll get wins. Okay, so that's not too bad. There's one. Okay, now five, three, two. No, let's do one of each. Scoop. Courtesy pass. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, we have a north. Okay, so we have three tiles we can pass. I think I accidentally had a bad pass over there. I don't remember what it was. So I'm feeling a little distracted because of the stinking wasps. Okay, so we have a wind hand of some kind. Maybe, maybe the fifth hand down under winds. East. Oh, darn. All right. Well, red the joker flower. Okay, flower. Four bam. Maybe that that could be our west, uh, east. Let's see if Four we can dot. maybe play the first hand. Four dot, flower. Nine crack. We're good there. Seven bam. Okay, let's seven bam. That. Seven bam. Two bam. East, east gap. Yep, but we're playing um, pong kong pong kong. We can use jokers. North. Okay. I would I would pong. Because we could pong the south and kong the west. All we need is one more good pick for the east. 
which we do have a gap, but we can use jokers. I would call. Huh? Call. Flower. Six dots. So we're going to play the second one. Uh, first hand under wins on the right. And it is a gap. Six crack. It is a gap. Four crack. We need to Kong East, but we just need one good pick. Two crack. Five dot. Let's see if we can get five dot. Joker. Three crack. Here. Two dot. Two bam. Oh. Seven bam. Four dot. Okay. Five bam. We don't need five. Five bam. Just five bam. We Four need dot. A, we need an east. If we draw an east, Eight we'll crack. be set. Eight dot. We're good there. Eight dot. One crack. Call. Eight crack. I would love to draw an east. Okay, now Six this is seven crack. South. Maybe. Okay, let's call. We're going to pong. Call. Eight crack. So now Five we have dot. a seven crack pair. Eight bam. See if we can. We're at 66 tiles. Red. Let's Two see dot. if we can get a joker out of that seven. Flower. We're good there. Nine crack. Joker. Seven crack. We're good to go. Soap. Soap. We got a joker. East. We'll call. 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 We're Seven ready crack. to win on a west. Eight bam. Nine dot. Nine dot. We're good. Nine crack. Green. We might need a joker. North. I don't know if these these robots will throw One bam. west. Three crack. Can Three go. crack. Soap. We're good. Six dot. Nope. We're looking for a one dot. Maybe we'll draw an east. Six crack. Flower. One bam. Eight crack. No. Nine dot. Okay, we want an east. Green. Or a joker. Five dot. Or the west. Nine bam. Three bam. Three bam. Oh. Eight bam. We're good. Two dot. Nope. Five crack. We're looking for Call. east. Three crack. Or a west. Or a joker. Seven crack. East west joker. Eight dot. Green. Okay, we're in the end game. Green. Joker swap. One bam. Oh, oh. we got it. Mahjong. Woohoo! Mahjong. Woo! And we're from the back here. Got it. That hand. You can use any number of jokers. I call it a hand of least resistance. Because you can use jokers. If you are playing a gap hand, the best hand that you could be playing would be Pong Kong Pong Kong. Because all you need are jokers. And they come through joker exchange or maybe through the wall if you get lucky. So we've, we've got another winner in there. All right. I think that's going to do it for this live stream. I'm going to get ready for the next one. What Mondays, if you don't know, is a double header nitty gritty where we dig into the rules. We try to keep the so socialization to a bare minimum. But uh, the next live stream is going to be at four. So we have a one hour break. We're going to be back. And let me see. I think we're doing new content for the next live stream. I think it's called, let me just look it up, at 4 o'clock, we will be back for calculating risks. This is an advanced topic. It is out there. It is quite advanced. So if you are an intermediate player or you're an advanced player, come on back at 4 o'clock if you're a beginner. Just come on and just buckle in and have a drink and a snack and just hang on for dear life because it's going to be a lot but it's good stuff all right we'll see you in a little bit well um if you're watching the repost thank you so much for watching my videos be sure to look in the video description for a link to the skills and strategies matrix where you can catch up on previous content there's a recurring list of skills and strategies that we cover on a recurring basis i think i, I was a little redundant there sorry but we go over the same top skills and strategies, and I'm hoping the list will grow, but it's been pretty stable for a while, uh, maybe a month or so. So if you have any ideas for content that you want me to add to the skills and strategies matrix, please send me an email. My email you could find in the video description as well. 
Thank you so much for watching my videos, for sharing with your friends and for um, the people who decided to join as channel members. Thank you so much for supporting Monitor Life. Moderators, thank you so much again for helping monitor the chat. We'll be back in an hour for the next nitty gritty prime time. Let's play live stream. Hope to see you then. And I'm going to try to get those wasps next while I'm on break. I don't see any questions, so I'm going to sign off and we'll be back in just a little bit. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. Thank you.